Whenever there are differences in groups, it's common for people to take strong positions, and that certainly has been the case for the United Methodist Church over our period of time in, in our conversations and our discussions and our controversy over human sexuality. And those kinds of differences of opinion have also been very much a part of the work of the Commission on a way forward. People have been invited to the table because they do have those differences and those differences need to be heard. But in order for a conversation to move ahead, in order for us to really understand each other, we have to be careful in terms of how we listen. Really, working together has more to do with listening carefully to each other than it does claiming our position and being able to speak clearly. In working with conflict, one of the principles that has been identified with the uh, Harvard Negotiating Project as early as the 1980s is making the distinction or the difference between positions that are taken and the interests that people hold. Positions are conclusions. That's what we arrive to, and when we claim a position, we really don't want to have to move off that. It's really not a negotiable thing. But behind those positions are the reasons, the ideas, the feelings that we have, the convictions that lead us to that position, and all of those other ideas and interests are, are really what form it. They are the interests that we need to explore. So how do you help people move from position to interest? And one of the ways you do that is by helping them to understand the difference between the two. And one of the stories, the, the simple stories that goes with that to try to help uh, identify that has to do with two people who are in a library working at the same table. Uh, while they're working there, uh, the table is located very near a large window. Well, one of the people go, gets up, goes over and opens the window. Well, after that person sits down, soon the other person gets up and goes over and closes the window. Now, those two folk have claimed their position. One person has the position that the window should be open. The other person has the position the window should be closed. After a time, the first person gets back up, goes over to the window, and opens it halfway. Now, at that part, when I'm working with the group, I usually ask them to predict what is the second person going to do. And commonly what they do, they, they guess, is that the person's going to say that per, the second person is going to go over and close it a quarter of the way because I'll think that compromise is the way to get out of the situation. But a quarter open window is still an open window. And that second person's position was that the window should be closed. And in fact, what that person does gets up and goes over and closes the window the whole way. Well, while all this has been going on, the librarian's been watching with a lot of interest. And so the librarian goes over and begins to ask questions and turns to the first person and says, uh, I notice you've opened the window. Why is it that you want the window open? And that person explains, well, I'm working on a project that has a, uh, a kind of a deadline to it. And if I don't get my work done, I'm going to have to suffer some consequences. And it is warm and stuffy in here. I'm feeling drowsy. I need some fresh air. The librarian now knows more about the interests that are behind that person's position. She then turns to the other person and says, I notice you've been closing the window. Why do you want the window closed? And that person explains, well, I too have a project I'm working with, and it involves all these papers that are on the table. And every time that the window is open, the air comes in and rustles my papers, and I get distracted, and I'm not getting my work done. Now she knows the interests behind that position. The librarian is now in a position where she doesn't have to negotiate the conclusions that these two people have. She now understands what the interests are, and the interests provide opportunities. They provide new options. They provide some, some ways in which the two people can move ahead together. She can suggest to them, well, what we can do is open the window from the top instead of the bottom. Or perhaps you two people would like to sit at different tables. Or if you're tired, maybe I can show you where the coffee is or turn on the air conditioning. It's when we get to the interest and we begin to understand what's important to one another that we enter into a much deeper conversation that allows us to find a way forward together. When we speak only in conclusions, when we speak only in our positions, we only know that we can't change each other. But when we begin to explore what's behind it and what's important to us, 
the spirit moves.